Hi, welcome to the Lexynergy recorded webinar. This week we will be discussing Dot Inc. Uh, with um, uh, myself and Cheyenne Rostam from the Dot Inc. registry. So, giving you a bit of background about the both of us, um, I'm the CEO of Lexynergy. I'm a South African attorney and UK solicitor. I have over 17 years of experience of intellectual property and domain name law, and I head up the brand protection department at Lex Synergy, where we deal with UDRP complaints, and we take down a lot of social media accounts that infringe upon intellectual property. And as I've said, our guest is Cheyenne from uh, Dot uh, Inc., and uh, he's a, a veteran in the domain name industry, and he's brought to market 10 new domain name endings. Um, and um, he will run through Dot Inc for you. He's also, um, he's, um, under his leadership, he's led to the adoption of notable organizations such as Google, MIT, Fresh and Fox Corporation. And um, he has his Twitter handle there if you need to get in touch with him. So that was uh, a bit of a rush, but we'll jump straight into a little bit about Lex Synergy before we get into Dot Inc. Lex Synergy is a global domain name registrar, and we have offices um, around the world. We have offices in the US, UK, where I'm based, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, and Australia. Our services are used by trademark owners and law firms that want to secure their domain names worldwide by using one provider. So that means all the domain names are centralized from one point and are easier to manage. All our account managers have experience in intellectual property, so they are familiar with the processes of enforcement. And um, we are regarded as a leading registrar in Africa uh, where it is quite difficult to register domain names, and we are accredited within all the new GTLDs. I also want to give um, some perspective of where Lex Synergy fits into the .inc process. There is a registrant, which would be yourselves as the domain name owner or trademark owner of a particular brand. In order to register a domain name, you need to uh, process it or submit it through a registrar, which we are. So we are credited with the registry, and the registry is the back-end operator of that particular TLD. Um, so the registrars really are the customer-facing uh, entity within which clients interact with. So we would process all the .inc registrations for you and um, those in any other TLDs. So with that uh, brief introduction, I'll hand it over to Cheyenne who will run you through .inc. And welcome once again. Uh, great, thank you, uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, and also thank you for inviting me to uh, to provide some color about the Dot Inc. launch and uh, and be able to explain some of the value that uh, we believe we are uniquely bringing to uh, corporate and the world. So just a quick background about Intercap Registry Inc. Uh, we are a new GTLD registry operator. Um, we have launched our first TLD, which is the Dot Inc. domain ending. Uh, which is currently in Sunrise and only available to, to trademark holders until April 30th. Um, and we go into general availability with Dot Inc. on May 7th. The other TLDs that we, um, we have acquired and have not yet launched are Dot Box and Dot Dealer. And we, uh, we are in the process of evaluating other TLDs that we may potentially acquire. So, uh, we do expect to be a registry operator um, that will be launching a, a number of new TLDs over, uh, over the next few years. What is Dot Inc? Well, uh, quite simply, Dot Inc is the essential domain ending for businesses. Um, if, uh, if, if you are an incorporated in this anywhere in the world, um, you should own your Dot Inc domain. Uh, there, it provides instant credibility uh, to build on your brand's reputation. This is not meant to be a, um, a TLD that really anyone would use for any purpose. This is not for maybe an individual's blog or for a design website. This is meant to be a, a TLD used for corporations for their 
corporate sites or for their investor relations sites, um, something that will lend credibility to the business using it and lends credibility to other businesses that want to use a TLD that uh, has a strong reputation that their customers will feel confident uh, in clicking on. Dotting is priced for businesses and not for speculators. So unlike a lot of new GTLDs that are priced um, at you know maybe five or ten dollars and uh, it may may uh, may attract a lot of spammers or cyber squatters um, or speculators, Dotting is a premium uh, domain ending. Um, because we want great dotting domain names to be available when businesses need them. So even if you don't register your dotting domain name today, the hope is that five years from now, ten years from now, when you are registered, when you are ready to register a dotting domain name, uh, the one you want is available directly from Lex Energy. Dotting is a global domain ending. It ranks globally in search engines and can be registered in the official languages of over 190 countries and territories. So we do support IDN registrations, including Chinese, Japanese, um, Russian, etc. And finally, there's no limitations, there's no restrictions or requirements to register dotting domain. So you do not have to be an incorporated business to own one, and uh, we will not restrict the type of usage uh, your business uses the dotting domain name for. So why would you want to get a dotting domain? Well. If you are an incorporated business, .inc is easily the most intuitive domain ending for your business. It's just a matter of moving the dot. So if you are Fluency Inc., move the dot to make it Fluency.inc, and that's your URL. And that's the live site um, that you're welcome to visit, www.fluency.inc. Inc is synonymous with business in nearly every part of the world. So even if uh, even your country does not, uh, does not uh, recognize incorporation as a legal form uh, a legal, a legal uh, type of business formation. Um, it is very common for businesses to incorporate anyways. Um, a great example of that is Baidu Inc., which is one of the largest businesses in China. They, um, they are incorporated outside of China because incorporation is not an option within, uh, within the region. A great business deserves a great piece of online real estate. Um, I like to uh, draw a parallel between a domain name, a great domain name, and an office space or a retail space. Um, if you are a business that is working with Lex Energy, you are probably an international business, and you maybe you have a storefront on Rodeo Drive, maybe you have an office on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, and so you are uh, you are picking these. You are selective about where your offices are because you know that is a representation of your business. And you do not compromise on on that identity of your business. So why would you do that with your web address, where most of your traffic, most of your visibility, most of the uh, the impressions of, that are made about your business are all made online now? And so that is not an area where you should be compromising. And that's an area that Dotting does not uh, does not encourage any kind of compromise. There are no premium or reserved names in Dotting, so. Even one characters, two characters, keywords, uh, they're all available for the same flat price. And that is part of the reason why we have this premium uh, pricing structure so that we can make everything available for one flat price and not, uh, not pick and choose which names are better than others and then selectively charge more. Ultimately, we expect businesses to save time and money by getting a dotting domain rather than uh, buying a .com or .net or another domain name in the aftermarket. Um, we, uh, we recognize that there is some risk and uh, some resources involved in trying to secure a domain name in the aftermarket where you're negotiating with a private seller, you're getting a domain that, has, that may have uh, some negative history attached to it, you don't know. Maybe uh, there's a risk of fraud. Again, there's, there's just a, a bunch of different issues that come into play when you are potentially registering a domain name in the aftermarket, and uh, all of that can be avoided by registering a dotting domain name instead directly from Lex Energy, um, where you can use your credit card, you have um, an, account, an account manager that you're working with one-on-one -on -one who can answer all of your questions. So an example that I'd like to point out is last year in 2018, Intercontinental Exchange Inc. paid $3.5 million for their initials ICE.com. And if you have $3.5 million, that is a great domain name. No one's gonna, <laughs> no one's gonna say you made a mistake by buying that domain. 
But for everyone else that does not have $3.5 million laying around for a domain name, ICE.inc or your initials is a great alternative that would only cost you $2,500 or $3,000 per year um, and uh, it will take hundreds of years to, in order for you to uh, ever spend that much money uh, as you were on ICE.com. And then lastly, uh, one of the most unique uh, value propositions about .inc is that it comes with over $2,500 in free member benefits. So .inc is not just a domain ending, it's also a business solution that's, help, that's meant to help businesses uh, get started or grow. All of our member benefits can be viewed on our website, www.get.inc. Uh, this is a partial list of the member benefits that, uh, that each business will receive. So, for example, if you're not incorporated, you will receive free incorporation services from LegalZoom. Uh, you will receive $1,000 in transa transaction fee credits from Square, free QuickBooks uh, online accounting software for your business, up to 20% off office space from WeWork, uh, 10,000 bonus miles from Delta Airlines, uh, VIP pricing from Vistaprint Corporate, a free press release to announce your website, your new website using Globe Newswire, uh, which gets syndicated on 30,000 different news sites, uh, Google Ads credits, Indeed credits. Um, so this is, uh, these are benefits that we believe are um, not only helpful to small businesses, but also established businesses that are trying to grow or even enterprise level businesses. And these benefits can be redeemed at any point uh, when you are uh, an owner of a dotting domain name. And we are adding more benefits all the time that you will be able to uh, redeem as well even if they happen after uh, you have registered your domain. So who is .inc for? Um, really .inc is for any business, um, but if you want to look at just incorporated businesses, there are over 5 million active incorporated businesses in the United States alone. <clears throat> that does not take into account other countries that, uh, that use Inc. There are over 900,000 new businesses getting incorporated in the United States every year. So this is a growing market where Small businesses are incorporating, and uh, they will see a value in using a .inc as opposed to many other domain endings out there. And if you look at uh, all the legally formed businesses in the United States, three out of every four is incorporated. So uh, incorporation is by far one of the most popular ways to legally form your business, especially in the United States. Um, and not only does it establish yourself as a business, but it also um, provides a sense of credibility. And that's something that .inc wants to reflect uh, for, for our business clients. Additionally, 48 out of 50 states actually wire that business name. Business names uh, uh, contain the word Inc or Corp or incorporated in their business name. Obviously, you know, it's usually at the end. And so .inc becomes um, one of the most obvious domain name options for these businesses. Inc. and Incorporated is not limited to just the United States. We uh, see it used in uh, use it, we see it used by businesses that are headquartered in over 20 different countries all over the world, and that includes Canada, China, Australia, India, Japan, Israel, uh, the Philippines, uh, and many other places. And lastly, over 60% of businesses traded on the New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq and in Inc. Um, and uh, we've seen a number of them already register their dotting domains in Sunrise, and we have seen many others that are not publicly traded register their dotting domain names as well. So how can dotting domain names be used? Well, they can really be used for any purpose. Um, we already have a number of live dotting websites up, even though we are only two weeks into our launch. Um, one example is Freshy.inc. Um, that website, that is being used as uh, the company's corporate website. They are publicly traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Um, they previously were using ir.freshy.com, but because they, their company name is Freshy Inc., they felt that Freshy.inc was the most natural domain name for the corporate site. And, uh, and now if you do a search for you know, Freshy Investor Relations, you will see Freshy.inc show up as the number one search result. Another example is uh, Fox Corporation. Um, they are now using Fox.inc as uh, the URL for their investor relations site. Another example is Collab.inc, which was previously CollabCreators.com. 
Um, I spoke with the owners of that domain name and they had told me about how their old domain collabcreators.com was a pain point for them because uh, Collab Creators was not the name of their business. And people would see their, their URL Collab Creators and mistakenly call them Collab Creators in meetings, uh, on contracts, whatever it may be. And so they were very happy to be able to get the domain name that matched their business name, which is just collab.inc. And now if you do a search actually for Collab in Google, uh, collab.inc is the number one search result. And then the last example we have here is fluency.inc, which is owned by Fluency Inc. They upgraded their domain from fluencyinc.co, uh, which they felt was not uh, the most, uh, it was not the ideal domain for their business, and, uh, and they were very happy to get what they believe was the best domain for their business and provided them the credibility they needed, which is fluency.inc. And just real quickly, in addition to using a domain for your corporate site, investor relations, um, or just for a domain upgrade, we also see dotting domain is being used for uh, for corporate emails, for newsrooms, uh, for new ventures, for subsidiary companies, even us as a registry. Uh, the uh, the parent company is intercap.com. The registry's company website is is intercap.inc. Um, so because the .com is being used by the parent company. Um, rather than getting a longer .com domain or something different um, or compromising on the name of our business, we were able to just use intercap.inc and, uh, and we feel that a lot of other businesses will be able to get value out of their .inc domain in a similar way. Uh, can you go back to the slide? So just some quick facts about the .inc Sunrise so far. 30% um, of the top 50 interbrand best global brands of 2018 have registered at least one .inc domain name so far. So that means that when you think about some of the largest brands in the world, they have already registered their .inc domain name uh, only two weeks into our launch phase. 50% of Inc. Magazine's top 10 most valuable brands of 2018 have also registered .inc domain name, and we've seen these registrations come from over 20 different countries. Some examples of registrations that have come in so far, Google has registered uh, more than just these four domains, but you can see they've registered Google.inc, Alphabet.inc, which is their parent company, as well as some of their different brands like YouTube.inc and Android.inc. Nissan has registered Nissan.inc. They don't own Nissan.com, um, and if people are not familiar with the story, um, Nissan.com is owned by Nissan Computer Company. And uh, Nissan Motors has been trying to get Nissan.com back from them, but because, uh, because Nissan Computer Company has rights to that domain name and they're not interested in selling it, uh, that has become a little bit of a problem for Nissan Motors. So uh, what we don't want to see for any Lux Energy clients is um, they choose not to register their .inc domain name for whatever reason. And because of the free member benefits that we offer, because of the value and the naming options that Dotting provides, um, there, are, there is a possibility that a small business may come in and register uh, a great Dotting domain name, have rights to it, and, uh, and then another Nissan situation may come up. That's something we definitely do not want. That's why the Sunrise Parade exists. And uh, we would like to work with these businesses to be able to get their, uh, their brand names during the Sunrise while it's available to them and them only. Uh, you can also see that variations are being registered. American Express got Amex.inc, for example. Tudor Watches got Tudor.inc as well as Tudorwatches.inc. And we've also seen, for example, <coughs> uh, interestingly with Twitter, who owns uh, Periscope, they've also gotten Scope.inc. Uh, and so that's interesting because we haven't actually seen them call Periscope just Scope. Um, we don't know if that is uh, if if that's some internal language that they use or if that's part of a rebrand that may be coming up. Um, but it is interesting to see how businesses are protecting their intellectual property um, and using .inc for potentially new purposes. So to quickly go over the different launch phases, Sunrise is currently open. It's first come first served and runs until April 30th. If there are multiple trademark holders with the same trademark, whoever gets there first will receive the domain name immediately. So once an applicant has applied for the domain name, 
um, they will receive the domain and it is no longer available for registration. So far, within, with the, within the first two weeks of Sunrise, we have seen 170 uh, registrations come in, as I mentioned, through over 20 different countries. Um, we are working with every registrar very closely, and uh, we know there's many more of these domains in the pipeline for Sunrise. And we would like to work with Lex Energy clients to make sure that uh, their trademarks are secured during this phase. After that, I just like to, sorry, I sorry. just like to add, add in there on, on uh, during the sunrise period, you need a trademark that's validated with the trademark clearinghouse. And uh, at Xenergy, we're a trademark clearinghouse agent. So what we would do is we would validate your trademark with the trademark clearinghouse. Um, in order to do this, you would need a registered trademark itself. So if you have any questions relating to how to get the trademark validated, please let us know because obviously the period ends on the 30th of April. So it takes approximately about a week or so for a trademark to be validated. Yes, and, uh, and having gone through now my 10th TLD launch, I can tell you that I've seen uh, businesses scrambling on the last couple of days to get their trademark registered in the TMCH so that they can qualify for Sunrise before prices go up in the early access period. Um, we're already dealing with some of those businesses uh, right now for our the dotting Sunrise. So, um, you know, I think that you know for you for you to be able to turn around in one week is very quick. That's faster than what I've heard uh, heard quoted from some other situations. So, um, you know, I think that that that's a huge value and um, and to the extent that we can help with uh, even subsidizing some of those costs through. Uh, through some unique offers for Lex Energy clients, uh, we would really like to do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, after the sunrise period, there's a seven-day early access period. Um, it's all first come, first serve. This is going to be the first opportunity for brands to be able to register domain names that they do not have a trademark on. Um, we have uh, we are already working with a number of industry leaders who have. Uh, who have um, requested some some interesting keyword domains, some kind of uh, you know industry uh, industry leading keywords, and I think we're going to see those get registered on probably day one, day two of the early access period. They, I don't think they will make it to day three or day four, or day five. Um, the pay, the those who are not familiar with how early access period works. The pricing is uh, starts high on the first couple of days and goes down, uh, and so, until it finally goes to uh, to the cost of two thousand five hundred dollars in general availability. Um, so the idea behind it is that if there are if there is a business who really wants a specific dotting domain name and they want to beat the rush to get the domain name first and are willing to pay for that privilege, that's what the early access period is for. Um, whatever you pay in the early access period to to essentially claim a dotting domain name before it reaches general availability, that is a one-time fee. Uh, essentially, it's a convenience or processing fee, and the renewals, regardless of when you buy your domain name in Sunrise, EAP, or GA, our renewal fee is always the same. I just want to add on to the, the early access that you can reach out to us to get the pricing because it's staggered. Um, the pricing varies depending at which date you secure your domain, so you can reach out to us and we will uh, give you the pricing for that. Yes, and in, in addition to generic keywords, uh, we are talking with a lot of businesses who have asked to get their initials or maybe a single letter or something so that they can use it for a branded URL shortener. So there are a number of different options. Um, trademark variations are another example. Um, and that's something that uh, Daniel, maybe I don't know if you want to speak to that in terms of our offer for uh, trademark variations that your customers will receive discounts on in EAP and GA. Um, but we do want to make sure that we are uh, protecting the best interests of your clients by uh, allowing them to get uh, any any domains that are related to their intellectual property um, before anybody else and at a better price than they'd be able to get it anywhere else. Okay, yes, uh, that makes sense, I think, especially where there's uh, hyphenated versions um, or versions which are common across several industries. Um, so that, that, that is quite important. So uh, that's appreciated. Yes, and we, so we will offer discounts on those kinds of registrations. Um, and, uh, and I guess they can talk to their account manager for more details about that. 
And um, so um, the, the GA starts on the, on the 7th of May, and um, I think the most important part is the sunrise because you'd want to try and secure it as early as possible. And sometimes it may be more cost effective to secure it during the sunrise rather than early access. Early access would probably be the best for generics um, like, you, like you mentioned. Um, and these are the costs out, uh, that are laid out. If there are several um, dot inks that you are applying for, we can quote you on that. Uh, we do offer discounts, as uh, Cheyenne uh, mentioned. So um, with that, I, is, is there any more on that, uh, Cheyenne? Or? Uh, no, as you were saying as well, sunrise is the best time to get it. And another thing to consider is just that we do have um, we do have global distribution through all of the largest registrars in the world uh, with a common trademark like Delta. There are three Deltas that I can think of off the top of my head. There's Delta Airlines, Delta Dental, and Delta Faucets, and all three of them have equal rights to that trademark. And uh, you know I'm sure that there are a lot of small businesses that are going to have the same business name as uh, many of your clients at Lex Energy. So. You know, because of the member benefits we are offering, because of the naming options and the value that Dotting provides, the credibility that provides to small businesses, although we are using this high price point as a barrier to entry to prevent cyber squatting and fraud, um, we do feel that it is a good value for small businesses. And so we encourage your clients uh, to evaluate the risk of getting a Dotting or not getting it based on you know, how, uh, how you can use their trademark. And if it is something that they don't feel is going to potentially be registered again by a small business, then, you know, maybe they can wait until general availability. Um, but if they do have a trademark that they know or can think of another business using in another industry or another part of the world, then we highly advise that they register in Sunrise uh, because we just don't want a Nissan Motors situation on our hands. Yes, and uh, I think just on our end is that if it matches your company name, obviously Inc. is the um, designation for a certain type of company around the world, you would want to make sure that you're the first one to secure it. And I think that's quite important, especially because Inc. is synonymous with uh, a company name. And if there is confusion with company names, that could expose your, your business to some sort of risk. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I'd like to thank Cheyenne um, for presenting uh, on Dot Inc. Um, also, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at Lex Synergy. Uh, we have our U.S. address uh, up there and uh, our, sorry, our U.S. number, U.K. number, and South African number if you need to get in touch. Our website is listed there as well. Um, and uh, once again, uh, thank you for, for listening and uh, thank you, Cheyenne, for uh, your time. Yes, thank you so much for having me on, Daniel. Thank you.